Have you ever wondered what your DNA says about who you are? For African Americans, this question is especially profound. It's not just about a personal identity, it's about connecting to a history that was violently disrupted by one of humanity's darkest chapters, the transatlantic slave trade. Scientists have been delving into the DNA of African Americans to uncover truths that have been buried for centuries, and their findings are absolutely groundbreaking. In this video, we're diving into the surprising revelations about African American genetics. This isn't just a story about science, it's a story about resilience, survival, and the blending of cultures across continents. From the rich diversity of African roots to unexpected contributions from Europe, and even myths about Native American ancestry, the genetic makeup of African Americans is a fascinating mosaic. But why does this matter? Because understanding the origins of African American genetics is about more than piecing together history, it's about reclaiming a heritage that was forcibly taken. It's also about addressing the unique health challenges African Americans face today and how this knowledge can lead to better lives in the future. Stick with us as we take you on a journey through time, science, and identity. By the end, you'll see how genetics isn't just about what's in our blood, it's about the stories we carry. It's a story that bridges the past and the present, reminding us of the resilience of people who've endured unimaginable hardships and yet continue to thrive. If you're ready to explore the surprising origins of African American genetics and what they reveal about history, culture, and identity, let's dive in. When we think about African American ancestry, Africa is the undeniable starting point. For most African Americans, the majority of their genetic heritage traces back to West and Central Africa, regions that were heavily targeted during the transatlantic slave trade. But what's truly fascinating is how diverse that genetic heritage really is. Africa is home to over 3,000 ethnic groups, each with its own unique culture, language, and genetic markers. These groups, such as the Yoruba of Nigeria, the Akan of Ghana, and the Congo people of Central Africa, were among those whose descendants were forcibly taken to the Americas. Genetic studies have shown that African Americans often carry a mix of DNA from multiple African regions. This isn't just due to the vastness of Africa, but also because of the brutal reality of the slave trade. Enslaved people were deliberately separated from others who spoke their language or shared their culture, a tactic used to prevent rebellion. Over time, this mixing created a rich but fragmented genetic tapestry among African Americans. But the story of African roots goes beyond genetics. It's about cultural resilience. Despite the horrors of slavery, African traditions, music, food, spirituality, survived and evolved in the Americas. Genetic research has given African Americans a way to reconnect with these lost roots. By identifying specific regions and ethnic groups in their ancestry, many are reclaiming their heritage and rediscovering a sense of belonging. One of the most striking revelations from genetic studies is how closely tied African Americans are to specific regions of Africa. For instance, scientists have found strong genetic links to places like Nigeria, Ghana, Angola, and the Congo Basin. These connections aren't just scientific, they're deeply personal, offering African Americans a way to bridge the gap between past and present. Ultimately, the African roots of African American genetics tell a story of diversity, strength, and survival. They remind us that, even in the face of unimaginable hardship, the human spirit endures. By understanding these roots, African Americans, and indeed all of us, gain a deeper appreciation for the richness of African heritage and the vital role it plays in the global story of humanity. One of the most surprising findings in the study of African American genetics is the significant amount of European ancestry. On average, African Americans have around 20% European genetic heritage. But how did this mixing occur? To answer that, we need to look at the brutal realities of colonialism and slavery. During the colonial era, enslaved Africans were forcibly brought to the Americas to work on plantations. In this system, power dynamics were skewed, and enslaved people had no autonomy. This created an environment where sexual exploitation was rampant. Enslavers often assaulted enslaved women, resulting in children of mixed ancestry. 
Over generations, this contributed to the European genetic components seen in African Americans today. Genetic studies have revealed a key detail. Most of the European ancestry in African Americans comes from paternal lines, meaning it was passed down through men. This aligns with historical records, which show that relationships between white men and enslaved African women were common, while relationships between African men and white women were rare due to societal restrictions. But not all European ancestry comes from exploitation. During the post-slavery period, some African Americans formed consensual relationships with European Americans. These unions, though less common, also played a role in shaping the genetic makeup of African Americans. One particularly interesting aspect of European genetic contributions is their geographic variation. African Americans in the South, for example, tend to have higher levels of European ancestry compared to those in the North. This reflects regional differences in the history of slavery and post-slavery interactions. It's important to recognize that this European ancestry is not just a historical fact, it's a part of the African-American identity today. For many, it's a reminder of the complex and often painful history of slavery. Yet, it also speaks to the interconnectedness of humanity. Understanding the European contributions to African-American genetics helps us confront uncomfortable truths about the past while appreciating the resilience of African-Americans and preserving their cultural identity. It's a testament to how history, even when painful, leaves an indelible mark on the present. For generations, many African-Americans have believed that they have significant Native American ancestry. It's a common narrative in family stories, often passed down as a source of pride. But when scientists began to study African-American genetics, they found that the reality is quite different. On average, Native American ancestry makes up less than 1% of the genetic heritage of African Americans. This revelation has challenged long-standing beliefs and opened the door to new conversations about history and identity. So, where did this myth come from? Historical records provide some clues. During the era of slavery, African Americans and Native Americans did interact in certain regions, particularly in the southeastern United States. Native Americans were also enslaved by European colonists, and in some cases, they formed alliances with African Americans to resist oppression. There were even instances where escaped African Americans found refuge in Native American communities. These historical connections likely contributed to the belief in shared ancestry. However, the limited genetic mixing between African Americans and Native Americans can be explained by geography and historical circumstances. The majority of enslaved Africans were brought to areas where Native American populations had been decimated by disease, warfare, and colonization. This reduced the chances for significant intermarriage or genetic blending. Furthermore, as European settlers expanded westward, Native American communities were often forcibly relocated, further isolating them from African American populations. Even though genetic studies have shown a minimal Native American influence, the cultural connections between the two groups cannot be overlooked. For example, certain traditions, foods, and even words in African American culture have been influenced by Native American practices. These cultural exchanges are a testament to the resilience and adaptability of both groups in the face of systemic oppression. This revelation doesn't diminish the significance of Native American ancestry for those who carry it. Instead, it highlights the need for a more nuanced understanding of history. It also emphasizes the importance of genetic research in separating fact from myth while honoring the stories that have been passed down through generations. Ultimately, the story of Native American ancestry in African Americans is less about genetics and more about shared histories of struggle and survival. It's a reminder of how interconnected our pasts are, even when the genetic evidence tells a different story. To understand African American genetics, we must confront the legacy of the transatlantic slave trade. Between the 16th and 19th centuries, over 12 million Africans were forcibly taken from their homelands and shipped across the Atlantic. Of these, about 400,000 ended up in what is now the United States, while millions more were sent to the Caribbean and South America. This forced migration left an indelible mark on the genetic makeup of African Americans. 
one of the most striking consequences of the slave trade is the genetic bottleneck it created. When a small group of people becomes the foundation for future generations, genetic diversity is reduced. For African Americans, this bottleneck reflects the harsh realities of slavery, families were torn apart, individuals from different regions were mixed together, and cultural identities were often erased. Despite this, scientists have been able to trace African American ancestry back to specific regions in Africa, such as modern-day Nigeria, Ghana, Angola, and the Congo Basin. But the legacy of the slave trade isn't just about loss, it's also about resilience. Enslaved Africans brought with them traditions, languages, and knowledge that survived despite attempts to erase them. This cultural heritage is evident in everything from music and cuisine to spiritual practices. Genetic research has become a powerful tool for reconnecting with these roots, offering African Americans a way to reclaim a history that was stolen from them. One fascinating aspect of genetic studies is how they reveal the paths of the slave trade. For example, African Americans with ancestry linked to Angola often have genetic markers that trace their journey through the Caribbean before arriving in the U.S. These findings provide new insights into the routes enslaved people were forced to take and the conditions they endured along the way. The story of African American genetics is deeply tied to the trauma of the transatlantic slave trade, but it's also a testament to human resilience. By uncovering the genetic and historical truths of this period, we gain a deeper understanding of the African American experience and a greater appreciation for the strength and perseverance of those who came before. In the past, understanding ancestry relied on oral histories, written records, or sometimes speculation. But today, science has given us powerful tools to uncover the secrets of our genetic heritage. For African Americans, these tools are especially transformative, shedding light on a history that was erased by the transatlantic slave trade and centuries of systemic oppression. One of the most revolutionary advancements in this field is genome sequencing. This process decodes a person's entire DNA, revealing information about their ancestry, health risks, and more. Companies like 23andMe and Ancestry DNA have made it possible for millions of African Americans to trace their roots back to specific regions in Africa. For example, someone might discover that their ancestors were Yoruba from Nigeria or Akan from Ghana. These discoveries can be deeply emotional, offering a sense of connection to a history that was forcibly severed. But science doesn't stop there. Researchers are also using large-scale genetic databases to study patterns across populations. By comparing the DNA of African Americans with people from Africa, scientists can identify common genetic markers and trace the origins of African American ancestry. This has led to some incredible discoveries, such as the fact that African Americans typically have ancestry from multiple African regions, reflecting the mixing that occurred during and after the slave trade. Another exciting development is the use of admixture analysis, which estimates the proportion of ancestry from different populations. This technique has revealed the surprising contributions of European and Native American ancestry to African American genetics. It's also helped scientists map out the paths of the transatlantic slave trade, providing new insights into one of history's darkest chapters. However, with these advancements come ethical concerns. Who owns this genetic data? How should it be used? For many African Americans, there's a fear that their genetic information could be exploited or used without their consent. Scientists are working to address these concerns by involving communities in the research process and ensuring that the benefits of genetic studies are shared. Modern genetic research is more than just a tool for understanding ancestry, it's a way to reclaim history. For African Americans, it offers not only answers but also a sense of empowerment, helping them reconnect with their roots and celebrate the resilience of their ancestors. One of the most practical and impactful applications of genetic research is in the field of health. For African Americans, understanding genetic ancestry isn't just about uncovering the past, it's about improving health outcomes in the present and future. Scientists are finding that genetic insights can play a critical role in addressing health disparities and personalizing medical care. Let's start with a condition that's closely tied to African ancestry, sickle cell anemia. 
This disease is more common in people of African descent because the sickle cell trait evolved as a defense against malaria, a disease prevalent in many parts of Africa. While this trait was beneficial in regions where malaria was a threat, it has become a significant health challenge in the Americas, where malaria is no longer common. Understanding the genetic roots of this condition has helped researchers develop better treatments and raise awareness among healthcare providers. Hypertension, diabetes, and heart disease are also more prevalent in African Americans. While lifestyle factors play a role, genetic predisposition is a key piece of the puzzle. By studying the genetic variations that contribute to these conditions, scientists are working to develop targeted interventions. For example, certain medications for hypertension are less effective in people of African descent due to genetic differences. This knowledge has led to the development of more effective treatments tailored to African Americans. Another exciting area of research is cancer treatment. African Americans have higher mortality rates for certain types of cancer, partly due to genetic factors. By studying ancestry-specific genetic markers, researchers are creating personalized approaches to diagnosis and treatment, improving survival rates and quality of life. But there's more to this story than just individual health. Genetic studies are helping scientists understand diseases that affect all populations, not just African Americans. For example, studying the genetic diversity of African Americans has led to discoveries about human evolution and the origins of certain diseases. This research benefits everyone, highlighting the importance of diversity in scientific studies. In the end, the connection between genetics and health is a powerful reminder of how science can be a force for good. For African Americans, it's not just about addressing the challenges of the past, it's about building a healthier future for generations to come. The story of African American genetics is about more than just DNA, it's about identity, history, and the enduring strength of a people. For centuries, African Americans were denied the right to know where they came from. Families were separated, records were destroyed, and cultures were suppressed. But today, Genetics is helping to fill in the gaps, offering a way to reconnect with the past and redefine what it means to be African American. One of the most profound impacts of genetic research is its ability to challenge stereotypes and break down misconceptions about race. Science has shown that race is a social construct, not a biological one. Our genetic differences are superficial. Skin color, for example, is determined by a tiny fraction of our DNA. What genetics does reveal is our shared humanity and the ways our histories are intertwined. For African Americans, these discoveries are deeply personal. Learning about their African roots can provide a sense of pride and belonging. It's a way to honor the resilience of their ancestors, who endured unimaginable hardships yet managed to preserve their culture and pass it down to future generations. At the same time, understanding European and Native American contributions to their ancestry can foster a more nuanced view of identity, one that embraces complexity and celebrates diversity. But this isn't just about individual identity, it's about community. As African Americans learn more about their genetic heritage, they're using this knowledge to strengthen cultural connections and build a sense of collective pride. Projects like African Ancestry Tracing and Cultural Festivals are helping to reclaim traditions that were lost during the slave trade. On a broader scale, the study of African American genetics is a reminder of the power of science to heal and unite. By uncovering the truths of the past, we can build a future rooted in understanding, empathy, and shared humanity. This is not just a story for African Americans, it's a story for everyone, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the incredible diversity of our global family. As we continue to learn more about African American genetics, let's celebrate the journey it represents, a journey of survival, discovery, and triumph. And that's the story of African American genetics, a story that spans continents and centuries, rooted in resilience and transformation. If this video resonated with you, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more incredible stories that reveal the surprising truths about our world. Until next time.